So good morning. It, it it looks like it's nighttime. I know, but it's actually 5 a.m. on January 26, 2017, and I'm doing this video. I see my light just kicked on. Uh, I'm doing this video to show you how I deal with cold weather and my garden. Um, <laughs> these are sheets covering lots of plants, citrus trees, things like that. Um, it is now officially 29 degrees here. We are in southeast Tucson area. Um, my light just went off again. As I move, it'll come back on. It's on motion sensor. So um, we have uh, lots of plants that we are um, growing. Many of them are in pots. Those are the ones that um, we raise for fundraisers for our nonprofit, our community garden nonprofit. And so those need special care um, in uh, extreme weather like, like cold right now. Um, I also have citrus trees. You can probably see the <laughs> outlines here. Those are my citrus trees. Those also need protection. Um, but um, pots especially need uh, to be kept a little warmer. They don't need to be 75 degrees, but you want to keep them above freezing. So I have these sheets that I put over here, canopies, and I have lights underneath. Um, but just to let you know, I'm not the only one doing this, not plant, sit plant sitting for um, our fundraisers. We have lots of people lots of gardeners out there doing this for us as well. Special uh, shout out goes to Don and Roxanne, Diane and Manny, Aaron and Matt, um, Shauna and kids, uh, Carolyn. So we have um, other people. I uh, apologize if I'm <laughs> forgetting names right now. Still waking up. So anyway, I just wanted to quickly um, show you um, right now, as I said, it's 29 degrees outside, but I'm going to take you under this canopy. Just kind of go around, have a little access point here, and also talk about these. These are amazing. I love these. For years, I used clothespins. Every time, every time I would set these up, I would have um, clothespins break, and yeah, they they. they you know, they're wooden and all that. So I went to the dollar store and got these guys. And they're very inexpensive. They come in like three or four different sizes. Um, they're metal. These are going to last forever. I started using them for to close bags, you know, of food in my pantry. It's great. Um, so we're just going to kind of sneak in here. <laughs> so here we are underneath my little tent. And you can see I have... I have light bulbs and Christmas lights and it really is as I'm putting my hand up here it really is noticeably warmer under here I wouldn't say toasty by any means but definitely um, warmer than the outside air uh, so this creates a really nice little little uh, microclimate I guess you could say so this is a bulb and I have it connected to um, one of these adapters that plugs right into the end of the um, extension cord and you can see I've got lots of lots of citrus so I want to make sure those don't freeze and um, I've pulled a lot of my the pots the planted uh, potted plants over here so we can so I can keep them warm you know as I plant it through the colder months before we have our next plant cell um, but just to kind of give you an idea, this is my, my little tent greenhouse, I guess. And um, uh, next night or two might still be below freezing. So I'll leave this up during the day. It's kind of a lot of work. Um, but I'll leave it up and everything's fine. You know, sun can kind of still filter through. I do not use plastic. Never, never use plastic. Um, Unless maybe you have it over fabric and then you take it off during the day. Because plastic will uh, cook your plants during the day. Because it still warms up. You know, sometimes it's still getting up to 70 during the day. Even though it's um, below freezing at night. That's how it is in the desert. So I do have, let me show you. I have a tree that kind of sticks out 
here. This is an Asian pear. Some of these need, uh, some plants need chilly hours. So this guy's outside of the warm protection of the canopy. Um, but, but pretty much everything else under here needs protection. I've got strawberry plants. Some of, um, you can see those down there. I have uh, baby pomegranate trees. I've got uh, a couple citrus kumquat and a, uh, something else down here. I have in pots and then in the ground I have um, citrus in the ground as well. These two. But lots of pots, some cactus, uh, flowers, things that will uh, do beautifully once the weather warms up. But right now they're just kind of waiting for that, that time when they can uh, start growing again. So anyway, um, this is what uh, this is what I do to keep my stuff warm.